Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. Eight wins, two losses, one no contest. He stands five feet seven and one half inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, by way of Kingston, Jamaica, O'Day, the Jamaican sensation. Born. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record, 19 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds, fighting out of cell in New York, Brian Boom Kelleher. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Smith. Oh, they up or down, up or down. Final assignment of the night for Mark Smith. Brooklyn Wren getting us started for round one. Paul, any idea what Mark Smith meant? He just said to Ode, up or down. So you you got to be up Ode, or down, ready? huh? Run, yeah. Run. <laughs> just asking. Just asking. Up or down. Don't play it. Well, yeah, up up or down. he's warning him that if Keller, oh. you know, kicked him while he's grounded. He, I, I, I don't know. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Modelo. Brew for those with a fighting spirit. Kelleher in green. Ode Osborne in black. Ode with some speed. Look at that. Coming out looking very smooth and composed. And he's got such a reach on Kelleher. Let's see a, a if he can take advantage. A speed advantage. And like he talks about, he doesn't. I mean, he, he woke up on weight. Doesn't right. cut. Yeah, fights at his natural weight. Right, that's, that's tremendous. Right. And that's not to say that he's a small. I mean, come man, right shred it. He's got the clinch. Watch the back of the head all day. Kelleher's got his legs together. Boom. He gets him down. See, he tried too hard for that takedown, though, Joe. He tried to make it a big thing, whereas if he had actually just rushed forward, he could have had O'Day in a much better position than he had. Well, maybe he fixed it, but you know when guys try to make a big slam out of it, a lot of times they end up getting. It's a lot more energy, that's yeah. for sure. Hey, we got a pass here. We got a pass that way. The new movie, The Gentleman, is in theaters Friday. Critics are saying it's a triumphant return to the gangster comedy, All Hail The Gentleman. Osborne closing the guard here. Nice elbows yeah. though from the bottom here from O'Day. There he goes, rolling for that arm bars. Yeah, Keller is very experienced. It's going to be hard to catch him. And uh, an arm bar is a straight up arm bar from the guard. O'Day's going to have to set something up. And that's what, o excuse me, that's what Keller has got to do. See how O'Day's trying to control the back of his head in this posture? He's got to keep breaking that so that he can posture up and not keep himself so. In, in that guard with his elbows in tight, that's where you're going to see O'Day roll for, for those arm bars. This guy's constantly controlling his posture. He's still punching around it really well. There he's, now he's, oh, nice elbow there from the yeah. bottom. O'Day has some good power with those elbows, even off of his back. But Kelleher, again, tremendously experienced. Look at that, steps over in the half guard. Kelleher changing jiu-jitsu camps recently, now at 10th Planet Long Island in Smithtown under Steve Kasten. O'Day well, trying to get back up to his feet, but he's got to be careful he doesn't expose his neck in the process. Yeah, and Kelleher is good from this position, loves this choke. But Kelleher is sitting right oh, on top of him now. That's that's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. Oh, right there. That's not good for O'Day. It looks like his neck is almost out though. Oh boy. Oh man, that looks tight. He's oh, not tight. Oh, oh, Submission there from Kelleher, boy. Fantastic. Beautiful. Beautiful. And again, as we were talking about coming to this fight, you're talking about a guy with so much more experience. 20 more fights and against legit world class fighters. That is a huge statement made by Brian Boom Kelleher. Nice embrace there with the former UFC welterweight Ryan LaFlair. 20th pro win for Brian Kelleher. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine choke, Brian Boom Kelleher!